So we are jumping into another rebuild. This time we are rebuilding the New York Knicks. Now this is a team that needs so much help that honestly I can't even describe it. This team has been stuck in the bottom of the Eastern Conference for years upon years and it's time to turn the New York Knicks back into a powerhouse. Now taking a look at this roster, we can see it's not very strong, right? We have a lot of players that are in the 70s, some high 70s, some low 70s, and we only have two players that are in the 80s. We got Mitchell Robinson, which is a great piece on this team. We're gonna be keeping them very likely and Julius Randle. Now, the only two players that I do not plan on trading are Mitchell Robinson and our boy RJ Barrett. We're gonna let these guys develop and see what happens to them. Everyone else is free game, including Frank Nilakina. okay? I know Knicks fans have a little bit of love for this guy still, but we show no love on this rebuild, all right? So we're gonna see what we can do. We're gonna try to make some moves real quick and see if we get some pieces that'll start helping us out right away. So the first trade I'm gonna make is for Andre Drummond. Now we're not actually gonna be keeping Andre Drummond. We're gonna be moving him immediately because we already have Mitchell Robinson. Uh, I know that would be a nice little one-two punch off the bench with those two guys, but I think we can get some pretty decent pieces for Drummond. So let's see what we could do with this trade. So here we go. We already have a very good offer. Now Andre Drummond, his deal, uh, he's making 27 million, but he does have that player option that would give him 28 million next year. So he's pretty much locked up. There's no way he's going to decline that option. Uh, so he's going to be taking quite a bit of our cap space. So we can send him away for now and we'll be taking on Kelly Obrey Jr. and Ricky Rubio. So this will bolster our lineup right away. We'll get a good small forward and we got a good point guard. Ricky Rubio will very likely be starting for us over Alfred Payton. I think Payton's going to be on his way out too, but this is already a very solid start. So for our next trade, we will be trading away a 21st round pick and a 21 first round pick. Uh, the first one belongs to the Clippers. They're going to be a good team. So that pick number isn't really going to be that good for us. And the second one belongs to the Mavericks. That one's very likely going to be a good pick as well. Instead, we'll be trading these two picks to the Toronto Raptors for OG Anunobi, a young small forward that's going to come in and fill a void for us and give us some bench depth that we really need. Now, if you take a look at our roster, you can see we have about 18 point guards and about 18 shooting guards. We really don't need this many guards. So it's time to chop these guys up a little bit cut off some of this dead weight and we're gonna try to trade for either a power forward or a center because these two are big man rotation it's severely lacking let's go get some big men okay so we quickly got a trade that i already like now cody zeller is getting paid big bucks for some reason i don't know why the hornets would pay this man so much is he even that good let's take a look at his career stats real quick i mean he's pretty decent but i don't know if he's worth the money he's getting paid but either way we have two centers coming in in Cody Zeller and Willie Herman Gomez. We're going to be giving away Frank Nilakina and, Marie, uh, and Mo Harkless, excuse me. And this is a good trade for us, right? We need that bench depth for our big men. So this is a very, very solid pickup. So we very quickly have turned this team into something serious. Taking a look at our rotation right now, we got Ricky Rubio at point guard, RJ Barrett at shooting guard, Obrey Jr. at small forward, Bobby Portis still at power forward. Um, then we got Mitchell Robinson at center. And Unobi coming off the bench, he's going to be our sixth man coming in at small forward. Cody Zeller at center. Alfred Payton, our backup point guard. And Herman Gomez uh, also filling out in that center rotation. Now, I think we need a backup point guard and a backup shooting guard. I think that's something we really need. I know I see Alonzo Trier down here, but, you know, it's Alonzo Trier. I don't really know what happened to him. I swear he was pretty good. Like, his rookie season, he was making quite a bit of noise. And then he kind of just fell off the radar. But, anyway, we still got a couple more moves to make. So, let's see what's out there. And for our final trade that we're going to be making, we're going to be sending Herman Gomez over to the Memphis Grizzlies for DeAnthony Melton, our backup shooting guard. And this guy will add a little bit more depth as well. And finally, we needed a backup power forward. So in comes Jeremy Grant from the Denver Nuggets for Alonzo Trier and Reggie Bullock, getting rid of a couple more shooting guards. Remember, we had way too many of these guys. Trade is going to work out perfectly and we get that backup power forward that we needed. Okay, so in rapid succession, we've built this team out pretty nicely. As you can see, our bench is now looking like this. Uh, we've got the backups that we needed. And I'm very excited to jump into a game and see what this team is capable of against the San Antonio Spurs, our debut game. Let's see if we get this W. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty hyped to see what this team is looking like out there. I feel like we've made a lot of good moves and that we've improved quite a bit. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that sub button, hit that bell notification as well so you can stay up to date with this series and all the other ones we got going on. 
let's jump into our debut game against the San Antonio Spurs. I'm pretty hype about what this team is capable of as Ricky Rubio is already going to miss a layup. Okay. But for real though, this team looks good already. And one thing I want to talk about is... You know how we have that first round pick or that first pick in this year's draft? I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I might be moving it as we're going to get Kelly Oubre coming off that screen pulling up and missing. But as I was saying, I think we're going to go ahead and get rid of that pick for another star power player or someone that can develop into something really good. Uh, we, we have a lot of room to work with here as Ricky Rubio is going to drive. Not much happening there. A little up fake from Mitchell Robinson. I'm not too sure about this man's post game real quick. Let me let me be honest. He's going to go to the line, though, for two of them. Oh, we got a mismatch down low. Let's go. Easy bucket. I like it. Now, the thing about this team is that I don't really have that one player that I can go to and get a bucket every time. That's going to be my next acquisition. And I may end up using that first round pick that I have uh, going into next season to find a player like that. It really is going to be between Obrey and RJ Barrett, but neither of them really have, like, that power to just get a bucket whenever right now as RJ Barrett's going to miss a three. All right, let's try to set something up again, man. We have struggled on offense so far. As this is going to be an ISO here for, uh, for RJ Barrett. Okay, let's see what he got. Does he got a post game? Does he got a... Oh, my God, 2K. So this game is the definition of an offensive struggle. Both teams... Oof, I don't even want to talk about the field goal percentage right now as Patty Mills is going to miss that little floater in the lane. But both teams absolutely struggling. That's all I'm going to say. Alfred Payton is in the game. We really have our whole bench out there right now. As I'm going to actually dump this one off to Anobi. Let's go. His first two of the game. All right, jumping back into this one, and we are down by 11 points. Our offense still looking incredibly stagnant as Mitch Robinson finally... We get a bucket on this side. He has eight points and four rebounds. He's actually our leading scorer. It's going to be a handoff most likely to Ricky Rubio. Pass here to Mitch Robinson. We got some options here. I'm going to go to Ricky Rubio and a beautifully ran play. Jante Murray sees a wide... What, the? what happened? Funny thing. RJ Barrett is currently one of six from the field. So he's, he's had a bit of a struggle, but it's okay. First game of the season, man. Can't expect him to pop off completely as we finally get his fourth point of the game oh give me that ricky rubio timed that steal perfectly he's gonna take it coast to coast for his sixth point of the game spurs coming down on a fast break lonnie walker goes off the backboard he's gonna miss that his own rebound kelly Oubre playing some good defense but lonnie walker comes away with it somehow Derek white in transition he's gonna go back out to rudy gay interesting oh they got a nice little mismatch down low they took full advantage of that Let's get loose on this one. Let's get loose. Rubio, a little one-two cross. I'm going to swing this one out to Barrett. Take a screen here from... Okay, you know what? That's a good look. That's a good look. We had a lot of space on that one. Got to take advantage of it as Barrett hits his first three of the game. Jumping into this third quarter, and we are only down by five points. So things are looking up for us a little bit. You know, RJ Barrett has picked it up. A lot of players are starting to perform a little bit better, so... Let's hope we maintain that kind of pace as DeJounte Murray just bullies his way to the rim. Going to be a down screen, though, for somebody. Barrett's going to come set a screen for Ricky Rubio. These screens are so bad, bro. No one's actually, like, hitting their man. Let's go, Ricky. All the way. Why not? Why not? Force your way to the rim. No one else wants to move. Rudy Gay, pull-up jumper. He's going to miss. Aubrey brings in his third rebound. He's pushing the pace. I see Mitch Robinson cut to the rim. Come on, use that strength. Come on. Easy bucket. Let's go, big man. Derek White looking to take a screen here from Aldridge. He's going to pull up midi. Misses it. Robinson skying for that rebound. RJ Barrett, can he beat everybody? Oh, I was trying to go with a little pump fake, but we'll take it. He's going to go to the line. Play some defense on this one, and we might tie this game up on the next possession. Let's see it. Okay, DeRozan. Okay. DeMar DeRozan attacking the rim. Kicks it out to Derek White. Ooh, if he hit that three, that would have been definitely a heartbreaker. As Ricky Rubio, let's go ahead and take a screen here. Got a mismatch that I like. Going to get Bobby Portis in the post. Clear out, everybody. Clear out. Clear out. Let's go. Easy bucket, right? Ooh, a little green release. I thought Aldridge might have caught that, but we're looking good there. I will let DeRozan shoot a three. I will let that man shoot threes. He has... Okay. Listen, whenever I play with DeRozan, he can't hit a three to save his life. All of a sudden, this man is knocking down a burner like that. Okay. Derek White wants to challenge Robinson. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one, boys. Let's not do that again. At least actually do that every time you want. Barrett going to go all the way. The layup is up and in. He finally broke double digits. 11 points for him. 
jumping into the fourth quarter and we're down by eight so we got some work to do and i believe in this team i really do as they're gonna go to trey lyles i am jumping for no reason what's he gonna do no way if that goes in I'm about to say cody zeller off the bench with nine points and 10 rebounds okay and i see barrett already cut into the rim 13 points peyton putting on the pressure on mills peyton with how many assists eight assists okay coming off that bench and playing that playmaker role exactly what we need and unobi wow Ooh, alfred payton putting some moves on out to anunobi for a big three ball in and out all right anunobi show me something show me something a little up fake they're not going for it out to grant he got an a minus in his three ball let's go that's a big time jumper oh good hands tyler zeller or cody zeller excuse me it's coming up big and look at rj barrett with a nice two-hander it's a three-point game i told you guys i believe in this team for a reason Playing some good defense, man. No way. No way. Stop it, 2K. Gonna be a play. It's going to be another a little uh, post up here for Barrett. This has not worked once yet, by the way. But we got a better mismatch this time. And he misses. A okay, he got his own rebound. Go up with it. Thank you, RJ. Thank you. Got some perimeter defense on DeRozan. He wants to pull up midi. Knocks it down. All right, push the pace here, Ricky. Push the pace. We want to take no time. I want to expose these guys. Let's go. Oh, Patty Mills putting a little spin move on. Patty Mills wants to go to the lane. Wow, he greens that. Spurs are hitting some tough shots. Patty Mills has 23 points. What the heck? We are destined to lose this game if that man has dropped 23. That's all I'm saying. Oh, I was going to get ready for the handoff to Barrett. We got to catch up here. We got to... That's bad. All right, we can't let this game get out of hand. We are currently down by seven, but still plenty of time to go. So, not very worried here. As we're going to dump off here to Barrett. Well, I was looking for a pump fake, but it's okay. I guess we'll take that. Four minutes left to go. Down by nine. Going to Barrett one more time. Let's go, Barrett. Use your strength. Use your strength. Man, he is missing the easiest shots. I don't know what is going on. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. Aldridge. Oh, what a tough fadeaway. If that went in, it would have been a big shot. Kelly Obre. Little up fake. Let's go ahead and take a screen. Let's take a screen. Robinson sent me a good one. Robinson got that mismatch that we like. Use your strength, buddy. Use your strength. Stop it, 2K. DeRozan, stop it. Stop it. Oh, my gosh. Wow. We are just destined to lose this game. That was such a big shot from DeRozan. I have no idea how we made it, but here we go. We find ourselves down by 10 points got a mismatch gotta work it quickly bobby portis use your oh my goodness aldridge comes in out of nowhere all right i think this game might be a wrap we're down by 12 points we're gonna need some kind of miracle to win this game as i don't really know what this play is okay we we had set up absolutely nothing there barrett attack out to obre obre little midi okay finally he actually made a shot he has three points in this game all right we're gonna take a screen here it's gonna be another post oh my goodness DeRozan just straight took that from me this man is being extra disrespectful tonight okay I'm not gonna lie I accidentally simulated a little bit too long there and we ended up just going all the way to the end but it was not a pretty ending let's jump into the box score so the final score was 84 to 107 now remember we're down like 14 points with two minutes left to go I said you know what let me simulate the rest of this out and see what happens we somehow lose by 23 in two minutes. They added on so much to their lead. I have no idea. But anyway, DeRozan killed it. This man went 26, 8, and 6. And Patty Mills had 23 and 2 off the bench. For us, RJ Barrett had 20 points and 2 assists. He struggled in this game early on. He picked it up a little bit towards the end, but it was a little bit too late. Mitchell Robinson with 12 and 10. Nice little double-double. DeAnthony Melton got some minutes towards the end, and he performed with 10 points. Ricky Rubio with 9 points and 5 assists. Cody Zeller with 9 and 10. And Kelly Obrey Jr. only went 2 of 6 from the field, and Anunobi went 1 of 5. So our small forwards, I hope you guys figure it out in the next episode. So that's going to be it for this one. A bad loss here, but I still have a lot of faith in this team. I think we've built out a pretty solid team. Um, so we'll see how it goes when we simulate. But that's going to be it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new here, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.